Welcome to the TRG Service Center in beautiful Westlake, Ohio. I'm going to walk you through today kind of just our receiving process into our repair process and just give you a little ride. Uh, so essentially anything is going to come through one of these three dock doors uh, through UPS, DHL, FedEx, or one of our LTL providers. And then at that point, we're going to be triaging packages and um, putting them in areas for from uh, further receiving. Once we de decide priority, they're going to go ahead and go into our depackaging area, uh, which is going to be happening over here to my left. And then from there, once a unit is depackaged, it's going to go into one of three bins. Um, typically, it's going to be green, blue, or black. And we're going to go ahead and receive the, the assets that they come in the door. So a couple quick things that I want to highlight. Uh, all these bins are color coded for the type of service they get. Green is going to be depot, blue will be TNM, black is going to be outsourced, meaning we're going to be working with a third party OEM contractor to uh, get those repairs done on your behalf. Um, but the first thing to do it is to make sure that everything was sent in correctly. So we're going to verify make, model, serial number, um, and then ensure that the device is correct. And we're going to go ahead and print a couple different asset tags out. One of them is going to go on the device. This never leaves the device while it's inside of our facility so that we know exactly who this device belongs to. And we're also gonna go ahead and put two labels on the uh, bin. And this is to just take care in case uh, anything would ever get separated from each other. There's two ways to look up uh, essentially where this device goes back to. Uh, some additional information on this device, we're gonna have the customer, um, the SLA date, the serial number, uh, as well as the due date on here as well. So every piece of information can be received off of this sticker here. Uh, and everything that gets checked into our repair facility has one of these stickers. Uh, in addition to that, as soon as a repair is checked in, with, in within Service Hub, the asset will be updated to be marked as in-house for repair. And from that standpoint, you can use our, our Service Hub um, software to track all of the movements uh, of that device through the repair process, um, even through OEM repair. Uh, from here, once we receive at about uh, an hourly cadence, these racks are going to be rolled down to our evaluation area to essentially be evaluated um, and, and determined on what next step of the process they go on. So we're going to go walk you over to our evaluation center now. It's a little bit of a long walk. On the way, we're going to pass uh, shipping as well as some other warehouse racks where we have uh, a lot of inventory held for our customers. All right, so this is where the repair magic happens. Um, essentially, as soon as devices come in this door, they're gonna be um, routed on these shelves based on priority level uh, with their SLA date. And so essentially what we have back here is some overflow, but most of the time, uh, new repairs are gonna be put on one of these four racks and our repair technicians are gonna be grabbing them at, at, at a cadence and essentially evaluating the device, um, troubleshooting, diagnosing, and then determining what steps it has to take next. So uh, repairs will go a couple different paths in here. Um, anything that is in a green bin that may be depot, once it's evaluated, is gonna come over here to a parts available shelf. That goes on that repair cart right there. This one's repaired. It's gonna go into our parts available shelf, and that determines that we do have parts in stock for that repair, and at that point, we're gonna be um, filling those in our parts department and then sending those out to the uh, technician that repairs it. Uh, as I stated before, blue bins are time and materials repairs. Uh, so once we evaluate the repair, diagnose what's wrong with it, um, that's gonna go on this shelf over here uh, for a pending approval. And so TNM repairs are gonna be uh, fixed once the approval is received by the customer. And then we have our black bins which are gonna be uh, des designated for outsource, essentially. So um, oftentimes we find that a quick software reset or uh, a couple mechanical adjustments are able to get uh, repairs going again. So if we don't have to send it out to the OEM for a lengthy repair, we do avoid that as well. And so uh, if we're unable to fix it with our technicians here, the black bins are gonna be routed back out to shipping to be outsourced to the OEM, which we'll show a little bit more of here in a couple minutes. Uh, so this would be the evaluation area, and again, once a, a repair is evaluated, it's either going to be brought back here to be put on a waiting rack, so all of this is all TNM waiting for approval. It will either go on a, a rack for parts to be ordered for it, so these are all depot repairs currently waiting on, on units or parts that we need to bring in to uh, facilitate the repair. Or if it is in stock, 
the repair is going to come all the way down here to our parts department. And then this is where we're going to uh, fulfill the, uh, the parts for those repairs. Um, TRG is OEM agnostic. We repair uh, all sorts of devices from, from, from the, the top 10 OEMs. Um, and so we have a, a, a broad range of parts. I think there's 7,500 part numbers uh, in stock across uh, 20,000 parts. Um, so typically we have what we need to repair uh, as it gets in the door, which is good. Helps with that, that timeliness of the repair. So. Uh, once the, repart the uh, parts are filled for that repair, we're going to walk in over here to our tech lab. And in this room is where the final steps of the repair process are going to take place. Uh, so right here, actually, we have uh, some configuration going on for some payment devices. Uh, that'll be going out the door for one of our retailers. Uh, a little bit further back here, we're going to have some additional technicians and then all the way in this last row here is where every bin is going to be placed um, after it's filled with parts. And so essentially in here, um, once the, the repair is filled, it's going to then be assigned to a technician. And then that bin is going to be taken to the technician to finish the repair. So once the repair is finished, we'll come out this way. Uh, of course, a big uh, piece of repair is configuration. And so after the repair is, is, is done, uh, this would be our configuration line. And this is where all the software and uh, different uh, types of applications will be added to that unit uh, before they go out the door. And then from there, we're going to walk right back out into the warehouse. And essentially, uh, the repairs are going to be routed on this wall. Uh, everything that you see here has been repaired. And at, at a cadence, just about once an hour, uh, anything that's been repaired is going to move, move and make its way over to um, shipping to be sent out that day. So, um, you know, we're repairing over a, a thousand plus repairs a week in this facility, um, turn quite a, a, a bit of different devices. Um, and so it's a really, really active repair facility. Um, we also offer key injection uh, services. And so over here, you'll see our KIF room. And so we are uh, PCI. Uh, certified uh, key injection facility, meaning that we can inject keys for your payment devices here, uh, which is a one-stop shop for uh, device repairs as well as payments. Not a lot of, uh, of companies can say that, so it's nice to have that. And so I'd love to take you in this room, but I can't because I'm not actually allowed in there. There's a two-factor um, uh, authentication, essentially badges that you have to be badging to actually get in here. And then this is where the, the key is loaded for those devices before it goes out the door. Um, Next, what we're going to show you is just some of our spares pools. This is where we hold our customer-owned assets uh, uh, for shipment upon their request. And then we're going to take a look at shipping, and that'll conclude the tour for the day. Please excuse the construction. We're building out a little bit over here. Uh, over here, you're going to see uh, two locked bays for all of our payment devices. So these are kept uh, under lock and key. Not only are they under a unique key that needs to be returned each day, they're under a combination lock, which the combinations of these are rotated consistently to ensure um, the utmost security when we're dealing with payment devices. And then down the line here, we'll show you another spares pool area um, for active customers. And essentially, uh, for companies that do have a spares pool, uh, we, we essentially keep all of their devices in good working order, labeled uh, not only by device and model, but also configuration at times. And we have a, a number of accessories from batteries, cables, but anything uh, our clients need to have extra of to make sure that they're always up uh, with their technology, we have here. And we are able to sh um, pull from this and ship um, anywhere globally you know, with, within a one day SLA. So. Um, and then lastly, the last kind of place on this trip here would be shipping. And then here is essentially where everything is going to be um, verified for accuracy between serial number, packing slip, label, and it's going to be packaged and uh, shipped out the door. Coming to you.